Time matters in critical situations. Lives can be saved if patients are taken to the care they need quickly. Flight nurse Ben Dorman is here to talk about the company he founded to provide his, this service for patients. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So to begin, what is Valley Med Flight? Valley Med Flight is a critical care air ambulance company. We uh, provide critical care services to patients that are in need of being transported, transported from a facility that's unable to handle their situation to a, a facility that can. So. Great, so just kind of transporting to them the care they need. Mm -hmm. um, what is your role within Valley Med Flight? I am a flight nurse for Valley Med Flight. So Every one of our flights has a nurse and a paramedic in the back of the airplane as well as a pilot flying it because it's a good thing that we don't fly the planes. And so each one of our flights has those people on board as well as the patient that we're caring for. So, All right. How did you decide you wanted to do in-flight nursing? You know, kind of, as a nurse, I feel like it's kind of the highest level of care that we can get to. Um, so it does take a lot of practice and experience in the typical hospital-based nursing setting to get to the point where you're at a comfort level to be able to handle taking care of a patient in the air without a physician there that's able to give you guidance. So, All right, you were kind of talking about that ex extra experience and training that you need. You know, what are some of the extra training that you need to be um, a flight nurse rather than just an ordinary nurse? Well, it, a lot of it comes with just experience from doing it, but then we are expected to have um, certain classes such as ACLS and PALS and ENPC and TNCC, and I know it's a bunch of acronyms, but they're just different advanced um, life support classes for different age groups as well as different type of situations. So, All right. Um, while you're flying, so what are some of the challenges that you face you know, while providing the care essentially in an ambulance in the air? You know, it is, there are some unique things about it, such as, you know, you never know when you're going to hit turbulence. So at, at times you're trying to do certain tasks while it's a little bit bumpy. Um, takeoff and landings especially can be, you know, bumpier, a little rougher air at the, that time. But it's, you know, it, it's basically like just uh, mobile intensive care units. We have all the tools have been given to us to take care of the patients as good as we possibly can. So... Right. So providing that um, care in the ambulance, how much time is saved rather than just an ambulance on the ground? Well, a typical flight from a uh, northern North Dakota small town to uh, Minneapolis, per se, takes us about an hour and a half versus a ground transport for that same distance is going to take probably around the six hour mark. So we're talking a big time savings. All right, definitely cuts down on the time. Yeah. Um, what are some situations where you would need to use Valley Med Flight? You know, um, basically anytime somebody is at a facility that's unable to handle the patient's care and they need to get somebody to a facility that can in the fastest way possible, that's a great situation to be able to use an air ambulance provider and we sure love to be able to provide that service to the community. Right. And I know you can't use names or anything, but are there some certain situations that you've d dealt with that you could share with us? You know, I think probably one of my favorite stories is we had a patient recently that we were flying from a small town in northern North Dakota, um, and we were flying her to Minneapolis. Um, she had a brain aneurysm that had ruptured, and she actually was a nurse herself as well at the facility that we went to. And we were able to get her, and once we got to the facility, we loaded her onto the airplane. She kind of was refusing to be intubated at that time. She because she was a nurse, we all think we know more than we really should. <laughs> and so in route, she ended up um, having a seizure and went unresponsive. And that's a very tough situation in a hospital setting, let alone in the back of an airplane at, you know, 20,000 feet. So, you know, my partner and I were able to go ahead and, you know, bag her a little bit with the BVM and get the correct drugs to her to help stop the seizure as well as prepare for intubation. And we have a wonderful tool called the GlideScope that has a video camera on the end of it that you can go in and you can see the vocal cords and we put a tube into her lungs and we breathe for her the rest of the way and we're able to stop the seizure and we got her to a hospital in Minneapolis where she had a very advanced procedure to help clear the blood out of her brain and to stop the actual bleeding. And, you know, we oftentimes don't hear more about how our patients do. And in this case, I got a letter about a month ago from her, and it was just so much fun to get this letter, and you open it, and it says, you know, I didn't even know the, her name, so I had to look up and figure out who this patient was. But, you know, she said, thanks to Valley Med Flight, you know, you saved my life. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here today. You know, and those are just fun stories that help 
keep us motivated to do the job we do. Well, what a great feel feeling that would bring you, you know, to keep going on. Um, on average, about how many um, response calls do you deal with in a day? Um, for instance, last month we had, as a company, we had 61 flights. So we have a base in Williston, North Dakota, as well as a base in Grand Forks. So between the two bases, we had 61 flights. So we typically run about one flight a day. And it never seems to work out that way. Usually you do two in one day and none the next or, you know, things like that. But typically an average of one a day from each base. Okay, so you're constantly, you know, working with patients flying them places. Um, what, um, how do you decide which hospital to take them to? You transport them from hospital to hospital, but how do you decide where that patient goes? You know, that's actually something that the hospital decides. We have put forth what we call the, uh, an immediate launch program, so we will go right away to the, whatever hospital needs us without knowing where they're going to go or what doctor is going to be taking care of them. But once we're at that hospital, we have to wait until that hospital gets an accepting acceptance for the patient to another facility. So the hospital that's sending the patient out actually makes that decision, but we're willing to go to them and help them until they are able to reach that decision. So. Okay, so kind of catered to the client's needs. Yeah, absolutely. Um, where do you see Valley MedFly going in the future? You know, it's been a blessing to get to the point that we are right now, and we're very happy to have two bases, but our goal is to just expand to different areas that we feel like need our services. So. All right, great. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. It is such a great s service that you provide to this community. Well, thank you for having me.